the great force you lead today probably commands less trust than in this whole history. It's very nice to see you too. No one knows how to mock like the Brits. Or rather to be specific to Babylon, debuting on Sundance TV tonight, no one knows how to mock like Oscar winner Danny Boyle, along with fellow series creators Sam Bain and Jesse Armstrong. In what is truly a spare-no-prisoners effort, this six-part dark comedy dramedy co-produced with the UK's Channel 4 is a backstage pass to a culture clash deluxe as an American PR guru played by Britt Marling tries to refocus and redirect the often seemingly willfully obstinate and lead-footed London Metropolitan Police, its viper-filled upper echelons, and its boss played by the once again top-notch James Nesbitt into the modern media age. If you think HBO's the somewhat similarly veined Veep is too tart and sharp of the tongue, then Babylon's PhD in endless personal insults will certainly not be for you or your easily offended ears. But if you like a bit of cutting verbal dexterity with your TV, then I think you might feel right at home here amidst the put-downs, egos, and self-promotions. There are officers out there. That is the reality. You are obsolete technology. That is the reality. Now, there are a lot of lane changes over the series, but the writing is sharp and obviously satirical, but paced, as are their performances. Now, to that end, a lot of attention will be given to Nesbitt and Marling, both of whom are excellent, especially the missing actor, who shows a whole other acerbic side of himself. I'm on 24-hour-a-day storm watch. I sleep like a cooking meerkat on an electric fence. That's me relaxing. However, I think the real strength of Babylon, like Veep and its long-distance sibling in the thick of it, is in the supporting cast and characters, as the ambitious deputy commissioner, Patterson Joseph, shines why Bertie Cabell slithers as the slimy communications deputy to Marling's Liz. In the wake of Ferguson, New York, and now France, with police under attack, figuratively and literally, a number of people may now say, just, it's not the time right now to mock cops. But as Babylon poignantly displays, it could be the time to examine the role police play in our society. The role in a system, as depicted on Babylon, often at odds with itself and so many different factions with different agendas, all competing for the power and the bottom line. That's what Babylon does so well. No one is innocent on this show, and no one, the politicians, the media, the media handlers, and the top cops, escape the judge and jury of their own often short-sighted self-interest. And the fact is, the series is really funny, which allows the most cutting of commentary to be delivered with a grin hiding its fangs. So I say, take a bite of Babylon. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.